Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of PE Garage. I'm your host, Toby Brooks. Everybody's partying tonight because it's New Year's Eve. I'm pretty excited too. Not because of the New Year, but because we finally got the hood mounted on our Project Mustang. Stay tuned and we'll show you how we did it on the next episode of PE Garage. So I don't have a massive mill, I've got a little bitty one, and I don't have a CNC, so I've got to figure out a way to machine a piece roughly this shape out of half inch billet and quarter inch billet. So I'm going to try a technique I've picked up off of a couple of car audio fabrication channels to shape roughly with a jigsaw and then finish it with a router. So we're working on our template. We're gonna use these Easy Fab template sticks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shave down. I've rough cut this edge, but it's rough. And we're gonna shave it down and make it perfect. Okay, so now we want this edge to be perfect. And this is nice because this actually matches the inner wheel well where the tire would go. Now the problem is, I've got some templates but they aren't a sharp enough curve. So the best way to do this is to use an adjustable template. Now, unfortunately the one I have is 48 inches long, so it's longer than I need, but we're gonna try to use it. So I'm going to set it on the actual part, and then once it's set, we tape it so that it will hold that curve. The adjustable template actually does better with this square bearing, so we're going to try that. Okay, now to put some finishing touches on it, these hard edges I don't like. So I'm going to use this easy Q corner, which is just going to be taped in place, and it'll round it over. Now for this edge, I'm going to use an easy radius tool. So I just, I'm going to tape it tangent and then shave that off. So I'm trying to get the driver's side hood hinge welded in. Uh, it's a pretty tight fit, so I'm doing my best to squeeze up in there. I did swap to a stubbier end on my TIG torch, and that helped a little bit. There's an even shorter one in my kit I may use, but I kind of use that for keeping the torch steady. So we'll see. Let's see if I can show you what we got here. So there you see the lower mount tacked in place. I'll grind this end off and weld it shut and then the upper one is the one I'm trying to weld in right now. Okay, I had no luck getting in there with that one so I'll go into the smaller lens and a little stub. We'll see if that works.
ready for billet. So let's check it out. So I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to go all polished on this thing. Going back and forth on finishes. Comment below, let me know what you think. You got gray on the chassis. And I just I can't decide which way to go with this thing. Here you can see the gap toward the rear here that these initial pieces didn't follow the curve of the fender, so I'll make up for that with the billet pieces that I'm going to fabricate as soon as I'm going to do it. And these raw bolts you see here, those won't be threaded blindly into the back side of the bed, so I'll all just flush and rework this shape so that it works with the front of the hood hinge mounts loosely tacked in place. Next step up is to pull the whole nose off and finish well all of those bars and also go back over all of the underhood tree work and clean all those welds up. As soon as the material arrives, I'll be fabricating the billet mounts for the hinges out of 6061 T6 aluminum. And then after that, we can get started on the underhood tin work, which is really my favorite part. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that so that you can follow all of our progress. Until then, make something awesome.